Where do you come from? How do you grow? How do you change then where do you go? Exactly how does your life cycle flow? This is what I wanna know. Oh, oh, oh! Where do you come from? How do you grow? How do you change then where do you go? Exactly how does your life cycle flow? This is what I wanna know. A plant starts with the seed and then you wait. It pushes up from the ground we call this germinate. It grows into a seedling, then an adult plant Its seeds will fall to the ground and it starts over again Where do you come from? How do you grow? How do you change then where do you go? Exactly how does your life cycle flow? This is what I want to know A bird forms in an egg until it's ready to hatch It will break out and be a baby bird in a nest It grows bigger sun heats the water of this I am sure and it becomes a gas we call water vapor water vapor travels up listen everyone it's a little process we call evaporation water cycle round and round and round and so the vapor goes up and gets cold in the sky and turns back into water up there so high these tiny water drops form into clouds that keep growing and making bigger clouds Clouds are made from water. Listen, everyone. It's a little process we call... Condensation. Water cycle. Round and round and round and So, round the clouds keep forming with more and more drops getting bigger and heavier like, like it, it won't stop. stop. But then what happens? Do you think you know? The drops start falling as rain or snow. The water comes back down. Listen, everyone. It's a little process we call... Round and 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 round
the sun is great, the sun is good, the sun gives us light and heat and food. Oh, the sun gives us light so we can see. Yes, the sun gives us light so we can see. Without the light, it would not be grand. It would always be dark. I hope you understand. Oh, the sun is great, the sun is good, the sun gives us light and heat and food. Oh, the sun gives us heat and warms us everywhere, yes, the sun gives us heat and warms the water, land and air. Without the heat, it would not be grand, it would always be cold. I hope you understand. Oh, the sun is great. The sun is good. The sun gives us light and heat and food. Oh, the sun gives us light to help the plants grow high. Yes, the sun gives us light and plants grow food for you and I. Without any food, it would not be grand. We would always be hungry. I hope you understand. A long time ago, even before, phones with computer screens, So they invented simple machines How to move things from place to place This kind of problem is a pretty big deal Do you have a stick and something round? Oh hey, it's an axle that moves around a wheel How to get from low to high this kind of problem is hurting your brain Can you make a ramp that is on a slant? Oh hey, it's an inclined plane How to lift something off the ground You can do it, I'll make you a believer Get a fulcrum that stays and a bar that moves Put them together and hey, it's a lever How to move something really high Higher than your head, no it's not silly You will need a rope and a wheel Put them together and hey, it's a pulley How to break something apart Edge. Look at these two inclined planes Add some force and hey, it's a wedge How to hold something in place This is a job you might need to do Take this metal shaft with spiral threads Turn it round and round and hey, it's a screw Simple machines ooh, 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 ooh.
Hi, I'm a bee. You may not know this, but bees are very important bugs. It's a bit complicated, but I will try and explain. You see, bees love pollen. Pollen is a sticky powder that is made in the center of the flowers of plants. We love the taste of pollen, and we use it to feed ourselves and our families, and some of us even make honey with it. But pollen is also very important for flowers and plants too. After pollen is made, it needs to travel deeper into the center of the flower where there are tiny eggs. When the pollen touches the tiny eggs, pollination and then fertilization happens and the eggs grow into seeds. The plant keeps growing and some make fruits or vegetables. The seeds are still there, but will one day fall off, go back into the ground to make more plants, which makes more flowers, which makes more fruit and vegetables and seeds. And seeds, of course, will one day go back into the ground to make more plants, which make more flowers, which make more fruit and vegetables and seeds. I just said that, but what does this have to do with me, with bees? Okay, like I mentioned, pollen needs to travel, but it can't move by itself. So us bees help the pollen move by accident. We collect the pollen for ourselves, but it also gets stuck all over us. When we fly from flower to flower, we spread that pollen around to different parts of the flowers. This helps with pollination, then fertilization, which makes seeds, and seeds, of course, will one day go back to the ground to make more plants, which make more flowers, which make more fruits and vegetables and seeds, and I've said that like three times! So! You should never take home a bee. Yes, it could sting you. But more importantly, if you take a bee away from its home, it can't help the flowers around its home turn into the tasty fruits and vegetables that we all need to survive. You know what? Let's sing a new song. Let's try this one more time, but this time with some of my vintage 80s guitar. Hit it! I'm wondering about my baby bumblebee. Why did Stinger is there to protect it, you see. The bee was just scared, not angry. If you bring home a baby bumblebee, it can't pollinate the plants or the trees, and there might not be food for you and me. Or did I mention delicious honey? So now I'm protecting my baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? If I don't bother it, it won't bother me. Hey, it didn't sting me. That's right, it didn't sting you. So protect the bees. You've been told, be safe out there, be kind to the bees. Oh, hey, hey, what did one bee say to the other when they landed on the same flower? Buzz off. And, and, and who is a bee's favorite musician? Sting. Or maybe is it Beyonce? Oh, uh, what does a bee like on their sushi? Wasabi. Okay, okay, I'll quit pulling your leg. Eh? <laughs> okay. OB, OBKB. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Winter, spring, Summer, autumn! Every three months, the seasons make a change. And as the time goes by, we also change our clothes and our habits. We gotta rearrange. Every three months, the seasons make a change. Yes, every three months, the seasons make a change. Oh, in the winter, it's really kind of cold. The days are short and Rain turns to snow, we gotta bundle up and wear warm clothes. Oh, in the winter, it's really kinda cold. 
Yes, in the winter, it's really kind of cold. Now in the spring, the flowers start to grow. It really rains a lot, and gone is the snow. Don't forget an umbrella and rubber boots when you go. Out in the spring, when the flowers start to grow. Yes, in the spring, the flowers start to grow. Oh, in the summer, it's quite hot, you know. Days are long and sunny, to the shade we go. We wear our bathing suits, don't need socks for your toes. Oh, in the summer, it's quite hot, you know. Yes, in the summer, it is quite hot, you know. Now in the autumn, the leaves start to blow. You'll need a big rake, and it starts to get cold. So on Halloween, don't forget your warmer clothes. Because in the autumn, the leaves start to blow. Yes, in the autumn, the leaves start to blow. Every three months, the seasons make a change. And as the time goes by, we also change our clothes and our habits. We gotta rearrange. Every three months, the seasons make a change. Yes, every three months, the seasons make a change. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Winter, spring, summer, autumn.